It could be said that the iconic song from Pink Floyd in 1979, Another Brick in the Wall, was a prophetic song, since the lyrics are certainly true of the exact times that we're living in now, with classrooms full of thought control and kids being told what to think and what to believe in, whilst not being allowed to voice their own opinions if they differ from the narrative. In this way, we're losing the artists, the free thinkers, scientists, naturalists and botanists, the doctors, the professors, the creators, and the list goes on, of tomorrow. Greatness and change come from being different from others and having the ability to think freely without limitations. It appears that society doesn't want this, that would prefer us all to be the same, behave the same and think the same within the limits that they permit. We're allowing our children to become just another brick in the wall. We are creating a generation of children who will have no ambition, no sense of self-worth, who will be bad winners and bad losers, and will not know freedom in any concept of its forms. I'm reminded of the words of Rudyard Kipling. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, which can be found above the player's entrance to Centre Court at Wimbledon. These are now becoming empty words without meaning, since being gracious in winning and also in losing is now vanishing in a society where manners and integrity are hard to find, and we've allowed it to happen. We have allowed children as young as four to be abused in the classroom, as they are taught that they can choose whether they are male or female, the great creator made two genders, male and female. We're all born with a mission to be one or the other, and therefore we're all born either one or the other. We can all choose to identify ourselves however we like, or to change genders. That's a choice and a decision that cannot be made at a young age. Children are learning at a vast rate when they're young and are still discovering who they are. They need encouragement, love, kindness, understanding, and the freedom to explore and find themselves. It's not something that could be taught at school, nor should it be taught at school. Children are born innocent, and they should be protected to stay that way. Sexual predators began to make themselves known back in the 1970s, with underage abuse seemingly becoming the norm and thrust towards us at every turn. Sexual contact is an act between two consenting adults. The word consenting, which means between two willing participants, and the word adults, which means not involving children, just to make that really clear for those that think differently. Every child is precious in this world no matter what colour, race, creed or religion. People are not a commodity to be traded as if on the stock market or sold for profit and pleasure, especially not children. For those that think otherwise, think on and leave us kids alone.